Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we are checking out the Thunderball Fist. This is actually a gun returning from Borderlands 2, and in my opinion, it has improved a lot compared to the Borderlands 2 version. So how this gun works is basically uh, when you shoot it, it will fire out a projectile. Once that projectile hits an enemy or a surface, uh, an electrical orb kind of flies up in the air. And then once it comes back down, either hitting an enemy or an object, it causes an electrical explosion. The gun is always going to be shocked no matter what. Uh, it would be really cool if it came in other elements just and had that same effect. But uh, unfortunately it is always going to be shock. The gun has very high elemental damage and elemental chance. Um, it's a great gun to use as a utility weapon to just uh, strip shields on an enemy, especially bosses, or if there's a mob of enemies in front of you that are all shielded, uh, you can fire this off a bunch and wind up stripping multiple enemy shields. You can also use this to regen your shields if you're uh, rocking like the transformer. Um, just shoot at your feet and you'll, you'll regen your shields immediately. This would be a great gun for an elemental Amara build um, just because the shock damage is so high and she could just buff those even more with a lot of her skills. Red text on this gun is I can have such a thing and that's actually the same red text that was on the Borderlands 2 version. Overall, uh, you know, I wouldn't use this as a primary weapon, although you can make it work, especially if you are uh, Amara. Um, uh, this would mainly be a utility weapon in my opinion, but the gameplay you're seeing right now is Zane running around with it. And it's really fun to run around with just because you have such high damage over time and just you literally will shock everything that you shoot at and also the the visuals are pretty cool um so if you are fighting a mob of enemies just all these electrical explosions and little balls of electricity are flying around everywhere uh, so it does have a cool uh visual aspect i really find the best way to use this gun is to aim for like the waist or the legs of whatever you're shooting at if it's just like a standard enemy that way that electrical orb that flies up and come back comes back down doesn't take as long. Um, if you shoot at the waist or the legs, the orb really only hovers up around the head of the enemy and then comes back down. If you're shooting for headshots, uh, that orb flies way up above uh, the enemy's head and then come, takes a second to come back down. But in doing so, you are going to be uh, obviously sacrificing getting critical hits if you are aiming for the waist instead of the head. So I really only recommend that if you are using this as a utility weapon just to strip shields. So yeah, check out the gameplay, see it in action, um, just running around Athena's, kind of mobbing around with it, uh, seeing how it does. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment as it really helps me out. And thanks for watching.